I have a beautiful 15-year-old stepdaughter named Sierra. She goes to Iolani. She's a freshman there. Um, and my wife and I have been married for all of three years. Just to always be mindful about the fact that children are listening and that you always have to uh, be a, a positive role model for them. Never lead them astray, never give them false promises. Be honest, be sincere, and always realize that growing a child is like growing a plant. It needs water and sunlight. A child needs just as much nourishment every day of their lives to grow and blossom into a full, productive adult. It has taught me to think about another individual uh, besides myself and really focus on that. I mean, I'm, I'm a state senator here, but my bigger responsibility is to take care of my family. Uh, in my life as a senator, I have 50,000 people in my district that I have to look after on a daily basis. But when you really boil down to it, if I don't take care of my family and show them that I can be a good role model, then I'm probably not a good role model for the rest of the community as well. So uh, being a father helps me in the political arena as to, you know, what's important? How do we make Hawaii better? It's going to start with individuals becoming better citizens. Just making sure that you are on your A game as much as possible. We're all humans. We all make mistakes. Um, I have tried to be as great of a parent as I can be. But I know that I've made some flaws and, you know, disciplined her inappropriately, may have not disciplined her when it was appropriate uh, as well. But that's a, the toughest part is to stay on your A-game every day. I mean, we all tend to kind of uh, well, take a couple of days off from work and work will still be there on Monday. You take a couple of days off of parenting, that child is a different person come Monday. So it's, it's, it's difficult to be vigilant on top of your game. And make sure that you're watching what your child is doing, encouraging them to do better, and making sure that when they start straying off the proper path, that you guide them in a gentle but firm way back onto the path of success. The love that I get back in response. It's not the main motivation, but that's always such a nice added benefit, right? When a child expresses gratitude to you that, you know, thank you for this dinner. Thank you for taking me on this trip. Thank you for helping me with my homework. That makes the countless hours it took to uh, save up for that trip, countless hours it took to do that homework when the child gets a, a good grade that everyone is, is happy with, that is the greatest reward to me as a, as a parent is to see that, you know, the investment I make on day one, ultimately in day two, leads to something that furthers that child's development and development of character as well. It's not always about uh, brains. It's all, lots, a lot of times it's about heart and how we're building a better individual. That one is a tough one. I could immerse myself in politics 24-7 but I need to break myself away and look at that nucleus that makes me who I, who I am. Uh, so going back to the question you asked earlier about, if, you know, if I don't figure out who I am, keep myself well grounded, realize that parenting is the most important role I have in life, then I'm not going to be a good politician. I'm not going to be a, a good citizen. So I really enjoy uh, the development that I get in response to how she grows, right? I mean, sometimes I might make a decision like, I'm gonna discipline her in this way. Oh, that didn't quite work out the way it was supposed to. Let me try this new way of enticing her to, to achieve success. And that's part of the learning process as well for, for myself, is learning uh, and developing my parental skills and my sense of humanity as well. The only parenting education I had was from my parents and so I am not schooled no classes no counseling no anything just kind of trial by fire and knock on wood so far so great I've enjoyed uh, really watching a young girl mature into a vibrant young lady Pay attention to what's going on in front of you. There's so many distractions in life, whether it's uh, the internet, whether it's sports, whether it's other things that could take you away from looking at how your child is developing. And 
put the distractions aside, put the texting away from dinner time uh, practices, pay attention to your children, talk to them, uh, listen to what their needs are, pick up on signs where you know there's a little drama at school, there's boyfriend, girlfriend disputes that are coming into, uh, into play. Um, don't ignore the signs because ignoring them only means that the problem's only gonna get worse. Uh, and that's what we need to have is better parenting in our community. You know, from a, from a public policy standpoint, we always talk about how we're going to improve education. And so many in the community look at, you know, the Department of Education. Somehow they're failing our students and test scores aren't where we would like them to be. But people forget and don't realize that, you know, the DOE and the state government only has a child for six hours of the day. The eight, other 18 hours is up to the parent. And the parents really need to take some responsibility for what kind of children they're bringing up. And not look at the government or anyone else other than themselves as to the reason why their child is not achieving what a, parent's, a parent wants them to achieve. So it's really about individual responsibility and paying attention to what your child is doing and making sure there's great communication uh, at the dinner table, on the ride to school, and everywhere that's possible. There's always opportunities to enrich the lives of both on the parental side as well as on the child side.